Hello, dear subscribers of our video channel. Today we will acquaint you with the newly adopted decree of the President of the country on measures to radically improve the effectiveness of the Institute of the Advocates. So, dear subscribers, let me tell you in more detail what privileges are now provided to the Institute of Advocates by the new decree. Since July 1st of this year, the Advocate has the right to take measures on the pre-trial settlement of disputes, reconciliation of the parties, and also act as an arbitrator, except for the cases when the Advocate is a representative of one of the parties. The period of compulsory internship in the law firm for obtaining a license for the right to engage in the advocacy is three months. Previously, it was six months. Employees of the legal services of the state bodies and organizations, as well as persons who have served as a judge, investigator or a prosecutor for at least three years, may not undergo this internship. Before, the license of the advocate was terminated if he fails to fulfill his duties for, the, for three months without valid reasons. Now this period is six months. More important that now advocates will provide legal assistance on the basis of a separate license for each chosen specialization. At the same time, current advocates are given the opportunity to choose the direction of specialization, and they will be able to reissue licenses in this area without reattestation and payment of fees. The termination of the license of the advocate will be carried out exclusively in a judicial procedure at the request of the Ministry of Justice on the basis of the conclusion of the High Qualification Commission. More changes is that the time period for repassing the qualification examination for advocate status is reduced from one year to six months. Visits of advocates with their clients are provided in a timely and unhindered manner in special rooms that do not have audio and video surveillance devices and without the presence of unauthorized persons while the visual visibility of the advocate and the client must be preserved, with the exception of the audibility of their conversation by third parties. The advocate has the right to bring computer, mobile and other communication devices to the building of courts to carry out his professional activities, with the exception of closed court hearings. In this case, the use of these devices inside the buildings of the courts should not violate the order of the trial. Request of the advocates to obtain the necessary information must be executed within a period of not more than 15 days, with the exception of information containing state secrets or other secrets protected by law. For the late submission, the provision of false or unreliable information at the request of the advocate, the guilty officials are brought to administrative responsibility in accordance with the established procedure on the basis of a direct request from the advocate to the court. Since August 1, 2018, the entities rendering legal consulting services are expanding. Now, legal consulting services can be provided by commercial organizations without obtaining a license. At the same time, these organizations are not entitled to engage in representation in civil, criminal, economic and administrative cases in the courts. Qualification classes of the advocates assigned depending on the length of the service in the system of advocacy by the chairman of the Chamber of Advocates on the basis of the conclusion of the Quali Qualification Commission. Measures are taken to ensure the transparency of the process of qualifying examinations for attaining the status of the advocate including using the online submission of necessary documents, optimizing their list and broadcasting the exam in live time on the Internet. Great importance is given to the development of the provision of free voluntary legal assistance, pro bono, to vulnerable groups of the population by advocates' formations and advocates. Now, drafts of normative legal acts on issues related to advocacy and legal proceedings are subject to mandatory agreement with the Chamber of Advocates. The Chairman of the Chamber of Advocates has the right to participate in the ses sessions of the Legislative Chamber of the Ali Majlis of the Republic of Uzbekistan to discuss draft laws and express opinions on them. A number of other measures have been taken to optimize the activities of the advocates in the country. On the other news in the law, 
follow us in our Telegram channel Kukka Yagbarot. Dear subscribers, that's all for today. See you soon and take care.